brain fever bird. In Maharashtra, this call is interpreted as Pertehwa, Pertehwa. which literally means get ready to sow the grains in Marathi. It makes us feel as if the bird is instructing farmers that they should now prepare to sow grains in their fields. By the wisdom acquired through many years, the farmers rightly infer that the monsoons are on their way after they hear this call. One might marvel over the connection between the call of this bird and the arrival of the monsoons. In fact, this bird belongs to the cuckoo family, hence it never builds its own nest. The female brain fever lays her eggs in the nests built by the babbler. The act which is similar to the coil's exploitation of the crow. The jungle babbler hatches the eggs and nurses the offspring, mistaking them for its own. Like any wise and caring parent, the babblers build their nests in the anticipation of rains which would bring plenty of nutritious food for the offspring. Good rain ensures a good amount of vegetation. The voracious larvae, whose main food is the newly grown verdure, are born in the same period. Hence, the male brain fever takes up a very good chance to woo his female and to claim his right over the territory. We often hear verbal duels and noisy arguments between two or more rival males. The female selects the winner, the one with more lung power and the one that can give calls for longer time. I have come across that brain fever bird giving calls for 10 to 11 hours at a stretch. A larvae that pops out of an egg which is no bigger than a mustard seed. The nests built by the jungle babbler, the call of the brain fever bird, and the life of the local farmer. All these elements are woven together by invisible threads of the ecosystem. It is indeed unfortunate that we have lost the ability to observe the intricate structure of the nature by which it has been functioning perfectly for several centuries. We have stopped reading the sign language of nature, which holds the subtle and delicate secrets of life. Satellites and various other inventions of modern technology help us to predict the overall rainfall across India, but they prove less competent while predicting the patterns of rainfall in the far-off corners of this vast country. Nevertheless, the signs and signals given out by the elements of the local ecosystem, such as birds and insects, prove to be reliable. Hence, the structure of the local ecosystem needs to be kept intact.